The Blackfoot ferret is one of the most endangered mammals in North America, and there are only about 390 in the wild today. Black-footed ferrets are not only biologically important, but culturally important to the tribes of Fort Belknap. And bringing this animal back is like bringing a relative home for them. It's an incredible honor to be working with the tribes of Fort Belknap to return this endangered species to the prairie. It's very special because it hosts one of 14 ferret populations in North America, and it is the first native nation-led ferret population. So here, this animal relative holds high significance to them. When I was out here firsthand, kind of experiencing it, just realizing how delicate they are and how dependent they are on us and organizations like this. And they mean bringing back the vitality of my land and my tribal land and my tribal animals that we have here. It felt really close to my heart and it's, it's really rewarding for me. The primary threat to the black-hooded ferret is a non-native disease called sylvatic plague. And in order for us to establish and maintain populations of this endangered species, it's important for us to vaccinate them against this deadly disease. We live trap them from their burrows. We transport them to a portable hospital trailer where we vaccinate them against this deadly disease and then we return them to the wild. We must look for them at night because they are nocturnal species. We do that by setting roof mounted spotlights on our trucks and while spotlighting is effective we need to rely on line of sight to see that ferret and we also need that ferret to be looking directly at us for us to pick up its eye shine. In search of solutions, we are also testing thermal cameras mounted to towers and drones to help detect the heat signature of the ferret. We're really hoping this tool can be used to help crews on the ground narrow the areas to focus. So instead of having to look through 100,000 acres, maybe they only need to look at 20,000 acres or 2,000 acres. And we're thinking that FLIR cameras can help us better improve technology at those sites and streamline the crew's ability to find ferrets, live trap them and protect them. And what's exciting is that the ferrets that we're trapping are looking very healthy. So we've got good reproduction into the system this year and the recovery goals for this species call for 3,000 in the wild. So while the road is long, we are hopeful.